What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So hopefully, I've watched the other video, the, the ACF50 video, and the, the audio was a bit meh. Hopefully I've fixed that. I've actually bothered putting the, the mic on today. So we'll see how the audio is from there. As you can see, down there, we've got some uh, True Tension stuff, because obviously I'm sponsored, blah, 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 blah. We've got to give the bike another clean, because today, thanks to MCN Graphics, now I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that, uh, I've always wanted to buy a sticker kit from them, or graphics kit, should you say. I, I wanted to get it, do it for my Supermoto. Um, I think I did it wanted to buy them for my Grom as well. Or was it my Duke? Don't remember. But I finally bought some. I think I bought them before I actually bought the bike. Um, so I've had them sitting for ages. So we're going to stick. We're going to give the bike a clean, which is why that's down there. Give the bike a clean, because um, obviously I've been riding it since I did that other video. Oh, I will grab you in a second, because I want to show you, because obviously the camera died last time. Uh, we got that. Um, Screen protector on there, and we also got the tank pads and fuel caps. So I want to show you that. Um, oh, I've taken. Do you want? Let me go grab the camera. Oh, you can't see the screen protector, but it's there. So we've got the little key protector thing, sticker, whatever there. Tank pads, four days, and they look mint as well. They are. Absolutely stunning. It looks freaking awesome. So, oh, and yeah, got these little, uh, little mm, focus camera. The little bolts on there to block out the mirrors. I want to get some bar rim mirrors. I was going to get the KTM ones that dangle down here, but it's hundred and something quid for one, and it's just like, ugh. So we'll see what we do there. But yeah, we're going to give the bike a clean and put some stickers on. It's going to be a long process, I need to get a hairdryer, uh, peel off the stuff and just put some stickers on and that's pretty much it. But trust me, it's going to transform the bike, so... let's -a go! So yeah, I am using my mum's hair dryer right now. Uh, I do have a heat gun for it, but I think it's going to be too much heat um, for, for something simple like this. So the hair dryer it is, unfortunately. Three months to this side done now. It just looks fucking awesome, doesn't it? I still got a couple more still to do. But come on, guys. Look at it. I'm so glad I went with the black because this is what I wanted to do all, belo all along. And now I'm 99% sure I want to get the wheels powder coated as well. I was unsure, but. This, this, just, oh yeah. Look at it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so mad shout out to MCN Graphics. They fucking smashed it. And their stuff, I, I hate doing stickers, I'm not going to lie. It's one of the worst things in the world. If you've never done stickers, it's, it's a horrible process. Especially on something like Angled. You're trying to peel it, get it all to fit. And I've done it with the horrible like Chinese ones before. And it's, it's not worked very well and even you know the rim tape I had on my R3 that stuff was horrible trying to get that done and that was a, a Chinese one um, but this 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 is actually so quality made um, he's actually thought about how to do it like, you know made cuts that need to be cut so you can actually angle it um, I mean there's almost no there's a couple of uh, air bubbles that's my fault not his um, but overall everything is so easy it's, it's not made me that angry. Normally stickers make me horribly angry to, to, to fit on, but 
no, this this has worked out just wonderfully. I've still got to finish off the rear seat, but look, with a tank pad as well. Ooh, get my head out of the way. That's the probably the hardest bit was up there, but look at it. That is awesome. So mad shout out to him. Go follow him on Facebook. And if you need any graphics done, if you've got an MX bike or uh, a supermo or anything like that, uh, hit him up because he does some absolutely awesome kits. Uh, this was custom made for me. I saw it on a Super Duke and I said, you know, can I get it made for uh, for the 790? He was like, yeah, I haven't done it before, but I'll make it done. And uh, oh, there you go. There's the end result. Well, almost end result. <laughs> and I didn't think it was going to be all this. I thought it was just going to be, you know, the ones that came. But no, he'd done every every little bit of it, even on the light. Fucking awesome. Absolutely awesome. One more time for my Beautiful. Sometimes I wonder to myself, is it really worth all the drama? Is it really worth all the stress? Is it, is it really worth? Sometimes I wonder to myself, is it really worth all the drama? Is it really worth all the stress? And there we have it guys, that's all the stickers on now. There is a couple of, hold well on, big truck. There is a couple of mistakes here and there, there's a couple of bubbles. Uh, not because of the uh, stickers, but because of how I've placed it and, and things. Um, but come on guys, <laughs> look at it. Look at that bike. Oh, it's gorgeous. I've also fitted the little bobbins now and that reservoir cover, if the camera will focus. So now that front end is looking quite delicious. Look at that. Oh, absolutely beautiful. So as I said, guys, go give him a follow. If you need anything done, hit him up. Because, I mean, look at the quality of this. This is more than I could have ever dreamed of. This is absolutely... I, I mean, he hasn't paid me to do this. I paid all the money, no discounts, nothing. But he has made this for me, and look at it. It's just <laughs> it's amazing. So go, go, uh, go give him some love. Uh, it'll be tagged in all my Instagram photos as well. So uh, you can go follow him on Instagram and things. And... Um, yeah, absolutely killed it, mate. Spot on. Bankrupt and over not all is shut now. The government all corrupted, comes and up, they cover it up in. Some of the cowards punch pubs and up the rally, fucked it. Haney genre, know what I mean. Replace line bands, a family fucking poking machines. Replace CD, fine line tunes with a stream. Spotify, 400 mil, what's in it for me? The studio ain't for free, the only place I'm making it. For the creep drama class, they already fake as shit. Is it really worth all the drama? Is it really worth all the stress?